Hello booktube and welcome to Double Tag Thursday. Uh, the first tag I'm going to be doing today is the Loki book tag. This tag was created by Eric of Breakeven Books and I first saw it um, just today on uh, Kathy Tridart's channel and I will be linked to both channels down below. I honestly am kind of like I am shocked I did not see this tag earlier absolutely shocked and annoyed because I've been watching Loki the past few weeks why I haven't been making Wednesday videos and I guess after I finish the tag I guess I could do a bit of a review of Loki or, yeah I think I'll do that okay so prompt at number one mischief a book with a mischievous character uh, Thomas Piety from uh, the War for the Rose Throne series by um, Peter McLean. Um, so the War for the Rose Throne series is a sort of a, it's not quite epic fantasy. It's, I guess you could say more gunpowder fantasy um, that draws heavily off of the um, British television series um, Peaky Blinders and it's about um, Thomas Piety who was a priest for a war goddess during this massive war and he and his uh, band of soldiers returned to his hometown and um, reclaim their territory um, Thomas as well as several of his compatriots were uh, gang members. They ran a mid-sized gang in their hometown and the first book in the series, Priest of Bones, uh, sees them sort of reclaiming their territory. And then the second one is Thomas rising in uh, the royal service. And anyway, I quite enjoyed the series. Um, the third book has just been released in the UK and I'm thinking of picking it up in August um, and I'll talk a bit more about that tomorrow when I do my July book haul as uh, it's going to be massive <laughs> uh, so prompt number two variant one show a book you have more than one version of um, I'm going to show two um, Carol at End House by Agatha Christie, I have in this old pocket books edition with the red uh, pages. Um, and I have, and then there were none, uh, again by Agatha Christie, and this uh, St. Martin's Press edition. So, Peril at End House, this one came out in uh, 74. And this one is from 78. It's not telling me when this specific edition was printed. Anyway, so I have these two um, editions. And I have both of them in an omnibus edition. Uh, this here. Um, this edition of uh, Five Complete Novels of Murder and Detection includes Ten Little Indians, which is one of the earlier titles for And Then There Were None. I much prefer this title. Um, Parallel in House. Hello. Um, the murder at Hazelmore, easy to kill and evil under the sun. So I picked this book up at Golden's a few years ago um, because I've been looking for some Agatha Christie novels and I struggled finding them at Golden's. And one day I found the detective fiction section and I'm like, yay. And I saw this and I picked it up. Um, when I picked this one up, um, Parallel at Hind House, I actually wanted this edition. 
uh, because my local library has a number of Agatha Christie omnibuses and I quite enjoy these omnibuses. Um, so I ordered this one from uh, one of the, I think it might have been Better World Books or like Discover Books or one of them. And instead of sending me this copy, they sent me ah, this. And I was kind of a bit annoyed because, yeah, I wanted this. So eventually I found a copy of this one at, I'm blinking on exactly which subseller on the Libra site I bought this from. I haven't seen anything from them in a while, so they might not be selling with Alibris anymore. But anyway, so yeah, pick that up. Uh, variant 2. Show a book, or Prompt 3, Variant 2. Show a book series where you have multiple book editions in the series. So by this one, I'm going to, I'm going with the series that I have um, multiple publishers have done. Um, and that is the Prince of Nothing series. So, um, I have book one, The Thousandfold Thought. No, no, that's book three. I'm sorry. Oh, book one is The Darkness That Comes Before. And this is published by Overlook Press. I want to say book three is, well, I'm not seeing it, so we'll look at that later. So book two, The Warrior Prophet, is published by Penguin out of Canada. And it has the French flaps and the deckled edges. In book three, The Thousandfold Thought is published by Orbit. So each edition of, so each volume in this series, um, in this initial trilogy of um, a longer work by R. Scott Baker, which I think continues with the second series of three volumes, um, is published by a different publisher. This one is from Orbit. Hmm. Interesting. I thought actually the first two, the first, uh, the first and third were actually from the same publisher, but no, they're actually all from different publishers. Hmm. Uh, prompt number four, Prune. A book that you recently got rid of or are planning to get rid of. Hmm. Eh, these two. I don't really have doubles in my collection. Um, besides these two, I think I have two volume, uh, two Fawford and the May, Fawford and the Grey Mouser uh, short story collections by Fritz Leiber um, that I also have in an omnibus collection of three of the, uh, I think three or four of the short story collections. So I'm not really big on doubling up. So if and when I do get around to pruning or purging my collection, these will likely be some of the books that will go because I don't really need them. I'm not hard on my books, so yeah. Um, but I don't know exactly when I'm going to be doing my pruning or my purging. Uh, might be at the end of the year, might be when I'm Max out for space. We shall see. But I will definitely have a video, a, a purge video, when I get around to purging. Uh, prompt number five, Enchantment. A book that had you under a spell. A book you could not put down. Um, the Golden Rhinoceros by... Uh, 
Francois Javier Favel. Um, it's a history of medieval Africa that I gobbled up in one day. It is a fantastic, fantastic history of medieval Africa. Um, prompt number six, Timekeepers. Name a series that has stood the test of time and bonus points if it is a trilogy. Well, there is but one, and that's The Lord of the Rings, um, which, while one big novel was originally published and is often published as in its three constituent parts, um, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King. Uh, prompt number seven, Asgard, a book with royalty or godlike figures. For this one, I'm going to go with um, the tarot sequence by Katie Edwards, and more specifically, The Last Sun, but I'll add um, The Hanged Man as well. Um, these novels um, take place in an alternate Earth in which Atlantis is real and had been hidden for uh, millennia by a protection spell. The ruling nobility of Atlantis are um, have pretty much in this world I guess formed the basis of the um, character cards um, the fool the sun the lovers the hierophant the magician those cards of the tarot um, and the leaders of the houses um, are godlike in their power um so i went i'm gonna go with um the tarot sequence here uh problem number eight daggers a book that cut you deep and made you emotional the hundred years war on palestine by rashid khalidi it is a very powerful book that really changed my thinking on the um Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Uh, prompt number nine, Illusion. A book you bought because you thought the cover was pretty, but it ended up being bad. Winter's Orbit by Everina Maxwell. The cover is incredibly pretty. The story, not so much. <laughs> so that was the um, Loki book tag. Um, if you would like to do this tag, consider yourself tagged. And if you've seen uh, Loki, the uh, television series, and if you would like to do a quick review of it or give your thoughts on it, you can do it here too, like I'm about to do. So, I I quite enjoyed Loki. Um, I thought some of the episodes were uneven, particularly episode three and definitely episode six. I'm not entirely happy with where the series left off or where it's going to go for season two. Um, I think the whole TVA uh, could have been wrapped up and Loki going on new adventures or a new status quo later on. Um, but for the most part, I quite enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, anyway. Uh, so I will wrap this one up and I will see you in a few minutes with another tag video. So until then, BookTube, thank you, have a great afternoon, and stay safe.